So we're going to continue working with our speed parameter and using it to control our cat with the arrow keys. Now there's a couple of different ways to control a character with the arrow keys. Um, one way involves using the events uh, when key pressed. Um, I find it works smoother and better if you're, especially if you have multiple things being controlled, to use uh, instead if from control and the key pressed boolean, the hexagonal thing, from sensing. So I want to be able to move with the left arrow and with the right arrow, so I'm going to right click to duplicate this. So I have left arrow and right arrow. Um, if I wanted to move this directly, I would use this change x by, change x by, left is negative in Scratch, so left arrow changes x by negative 10, right arrow will change x by 10, and if I stick those in my loop, now I've left x speed at 0, so that's not really doing anything right now, um, and lo and behold I use my left arrow and my right arrow and I can move the cat back and forth. Um, if we want to do to use our speed variable, which has this nice thing, um, can speed up, slow down, um, and in order to do friction, we're going to need to use that speed variable. Um, instead of changing x directly, um, I'm instead going to change x speed. Um, left, I still. I'm thinking left negative um, and right positive. Now I'm just changing it by one and I may, after having done that, decide I need to do something different. Um, so I've pressed the green flag. It's often useful to stop and press the green flag again, just in case. Um, and notice that that causes it to accelerate. Whee! Right? I'm pressing the right arrow. It's moving that X speed slider. And the cat is sort of moving in the direction I'm going, sort of slowly. But of course, once I start it going, it just keeps going until it runs off the screen. That is keyboard control with a speed parameter.